Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. I just recently did a cleansing on myself. It is 4.22 right now a.m. And I've been continuously working with all of my clients for all of you guys that have came to me for spell works. Uh, we've been working very heavily with a, a, lot, of, um, a lot of spell work and uh, the energy was feeling a bit off, so I decided to do a cleansing after we finished uh, some rituals that we got done today or tonight. Um, so I had to cleanse myself, and I figured I might as well do a very quick uh, spell for you guys. This is a money spell. Um, the difference in this money spell is that this is for situations where you're needing money very quickly. It's a very short time frame uh, of the money that you're trying to bring in. So this is like an urgency money spell. It's very simple. I know you guys prefer simplistic spell work versus the ones that are a little bit more elaborate. So I'm going to try to implement easier spells for you guys to do. Anyways, I'm going to take you guys um, with the ingredients, what we need. So for this, you're going to need silver and gold uh, powder. You can use glitter. Uh, I will be using glitter as well as some uh, glue glitter as well as magnetic sand. Now, do you need magnetic sand? No, you don't. You, If all you can get is the glitter, then that's going to work for you. Uh, it, it, You know, the magnetic sand, I always use that when we're trying to bring towards us uh, whether it be love, whether it be money, whether it be opportunities, whatever it is, what it does, it basically serves as a magnet to pull towards you. So that's the reason why I'm going to be integrating some magnetic sand with the gold and silver glitter. Now, as you guys can see here, we put the dollar signs, the money signs. Um, so you can pretty much use any type of sigil that would represent abundance or success or uh wealth, anything of that nature, because the dollar sign is very universal, I feel that it, it does much better when we're doing this type of spell work. So that's the reason why we did the money signs, and you're going to put them on the right, left, uh, top side, and the right, left, bottom side as well of a plate or tray that you're going to be working. Ideally, use a ceramic plate. If you're using a ceramic plate, make sure to uh, put some aluminum foil um, to protect your work. Now, if you're using like this, this is actually made of uh, real wood. Um, I don't really need the, you know, the foil paper. So I'm going to just do it straight from this, uh, this bowl here. Okay, so you're going to need that. You're also going to need a silver or gold candle. It could be one or the other. Now, if you don't happen to have a silver or gold, what you can do is you can get a white, uh, substitute it with a white candle and add some of the glitter to the candle to give it the gold and the silver uh, color to integrate that into the candle itself, okay? Now, things that are going to be necessary for this is you're going to need your perfume of choice. You're going to need some type of sacket bag. Now, for these, you can use a green one, a black one, or a red one. In this case, I'm using a red. Red is a very powerful color, and it is also with urgency. Red is a very, you know, prominent color when we are working with a very strong energy and you're wanting to precipitate this, this, uh, this process of bringing money to you. So I'm going to be using a red one. Now, you're also going to be needing seven different coins. Sorry, seven of the same coin. So it has to be the same denomination, um, but they have to be seven. Now, seven is a very spiritual number, as you guys know. Uh, so that's the reason why we're going to be using seven coins of the same denomination. You're also going to be needing some type of money oil or money cologne. Um, we're using Mr. Dinero here or Don Dinero uh, to cleanse the plate. Now, you can use, if you don't have that, you can use Florida water. What you're doing is you're going to rub uh, that cologne around the plate to cleanse it as well as to prepare it for the 
uh, spell that you're about to do. Um, one of the substitute, or sorry, one of the ingredients that you cannot substitute is you're going to be needing the siete machos. Siete machos is uh, a cologne that is heavily used for anything that has to do with dominions, anything that has to do with luring someone, something towards you. And specifically for this, obviously, we're trying to lure or bring money to us. So that's the reason why we're going to be using uh, Siete Machos. And like I said, you, you have the option of using glitter glue uh, to cast the sigil or to put the sigil on your plate. If you don't have that, you can always uh, just mark it down with a, you know, with a marker, a black marker um, that you're able to see it uh, on the aluminum foil if you're using that. And finally, you're going to be using some matches. Now, when this is, when you're beginning to do this, you are going to also be needing a glass of water and it has to be filled. Why do we use that? Because it's an offering to the spirits that you're working with, the spirits that you're you know, that are going to be assisting you in this process. So give me one second. Let me get the. Okay, my lovely. So as you guys can see here, we have the glass of water. And that's like I said, that's an offering that you're giving to the spirits. Okay. All right. So we're going to begin by casting the sigils or the symbol that represents abundance, opulence to you. As you guys can see here, we've already put uh, the money sign or the dollar sign, which is a very universal sign. Um, so we've put that there. We've already cleansed the plate with the Florida water uh, and with Don Dinero. Again, like I said, if you guys don't have Don Dinero, you can just uh, cleanse it, uh, pour some Florida water and just remove it, remove any negative energy, any negative excess energy, uh, putting your intentions that you're preparing yourself to put um, or to begin a money spell, okay? All right, so once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to put some of our perfume, whatever perfume it is that you mostly use. Now, for those of you guys that don't really use perfume and you use like some type of essential oils, then that's the oil that you're going to be using for the candle. Now, the reason why we do this is because if this is the, per the perfume or cologne or essential oil that I use, I'm putting my essence into the work that I'm doing. So that's the reason why we're going to be using that, okay? So I'm going to be, and then we can put some on the plate as well. Once that is done, <coughs> woof, that's a strong baby. All right, so once we do that, we're also going to shower it with some of the uh Siete machos, and we're also going to be putting some in the plate. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to put some of the gold powder around the plate. Oh, shoot. As such. And we're also going to be putting some silver. Okay. This smells so amazing, you guys. All right. So once that is done, make sure to light your incense. As you guys can see here, we've been burning some incense to cleanse the space. Um, so you're going to light it at this point. And basically, focus is very important in this process. So you have to really Put your intention. What is it that how much if you have a specific amount that you're trying to bring to you, then that's the energy that you're going into this spell work. It is very simplistic, but it's very quick and very it gives you very good results. Now, once this is done, you guys should see progress within the next three to seven days. OK, that's how quick it happens. So, again, make sure to focus, center yourself. Ground yourself, focus on what you're trying to achieve by doing this spell work, okay? Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the seven coins and we're going to go all around. And this could be done, um, this could be done any day of the week. It does not matter. You can do it any day. Just make sure, very important, you guys. Just make sure to do it anytime before 1 p.m. So ideally what you're trying to do is you're trying to use or we are using um, 
we are using the sun's energy. Now, all of this has been consecrated and ritualized. It has been prepared. The coins were charged. The candle was uh, previously charged during the day. So again, uh, we pretty much have everything ready to go. But for you guys, just make sure to do the spell work before 1 p.m. Okay, very important. All right, so once that is done, what you're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit more of the siete machos here on the coins. Okay, and we're also going to put some of our perfume on the coins as well. All right. Okay, so once that is done, I'm going to add some of the magnetic sand here. And like I said, you guys, this is a very quick uh, turnaround when it comes to uh, results. So again, if you're doing this very focused, very centered, you know exactly what you're trying to bring. If you don't have a specific amount and you just need a job or you need to get yourself out of a binding, anything like that, this is ideal for that. Now we have the water ready to go. Uh, like I said, this water has already been charged uh, during the day. So for those of you guys that are just putting water, um, just make sure, like I said, to do this before 1 p.m. So any time between the early morning uh, all the way to, you know, ideally between noon, uh, just so you don't hit that 1 p.m. mark, okay? All right, so once that's ready, we're pretty much set to go. We're going to put our intentions into the candle. Um, now, if you are of Catholic background or Catholic descent or anything like that, you can do a prayer, a Padre Nuestro, uh, Ave Maria, and you're pretty much set to go. Now, if you aren't, uh, you can do any type of prayer of your belief system. And what once you do the prayer, what you do is basically you call upon the spirits of opulence and abundance. As an example, I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides. My ancestors and archangels, please be present. Allow me, guide me. Give me knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Assist me in the spell work that is about to begin, that is about to commence, to bring to me new opportunities, abundance, success, victory. Um, you know, you can integrate anything you want here. As an example, if you have a specific amount, I ask you to bring to me this specific amount. I ask you to remove any blockages that I'm currently dealing with or that I may be unaware that I'm currently dealing with. I ask you to remove and banish them, to be able to overcome those obstacles, to be able to receive the opulence, the abundance, the success that's coming to me. Always make sure to give them a thank you. Always make sure to show gratitude. I thank my spirit guides. I thank my archangels. I thank my ancestors. I thank you, St. Simon, for being present, for always being present. I thank you for the abundance, for the success, for the growth that you have bestowed upon me. As I feel it now, I feel the energy extremely high, um, which I do, you guys. It's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm getting chills. Um, okay, so once you do that, what you do is, like I said, you show a sign of gratitude. I thank the spirits. I thank the universe. I thank St. Simon. I thank my archangels, ancestors, and spirit guides for being present. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is you're pretty much ready to go. You're going to light the candle. All right, so I lit the candle. Um, it's getting very strong, and that's exactly what we want to see. So once this is done, you're, once you light the candle, this is not a candle where you can snuff it out and wait until... Uh, you have an opportunity to light it again. The moment you light this candle, you have to let it extinguish itself. So you have to be present, meaning when you do this spell, make sure that you're around the candle so that it can do what it has to do. Um, do not step away from it. Do not uh, snuff it out, come back to it later. This is a spell where the candle has to burn completely. Once it is completely burnt, then the spell is done. What you do is you're going to get all the seven coins. You're going to put them on your sachet bag. 
and you're going to keep it in your purse. If you're a man doing this, you're going to keep the sack, it, the sack it back on your wallet, in your wallet, sorry. Once that is done, you're going to carry it with you for 30 days. Yes, it has to be 30 days. Of course, like I said, you should see progress and movement, um, money coming towards you within the next three to seven days. But the coins must remain in your purse for 30 days. After the 30th day, meaning you've completed the full 30 days, you're going on your 31st day. On the 31st day, meaning the day after the 30 days that you've kept it in your purse, you're going to use those coins to purchase anything that has to do with food. So this could be like if you go to, uh, I don't know, if you go to a restaurant, you buy yourself a hamburger, you buy yourself, I don't know, some barbacoa, whatever it is. Um, make sure to use those coins um, to feed yourself. Now, why do we do this? Because money is a source of energy. And although a lot of people like to interpret it as something material, it has more to do with the energy of opulence. So when we invest in ourselves by feeding ourselves, you're nurturing yourself. Therefore, you're aligning yourself to the petition that you're asking for because you yourself are going to do what you need to do to take care of yourself. That way the universe is going to reflect that back to you. I hope that makes sense. Okay. All right. So once you light this candle, let's just say you light the candle now and let's say, I don't know, within an hour, two hours, whatever it is, if it is completely extinguished, then it's done. You pick up the coins, you put these in the socket bag and you put it in your wallet. What you're going to do with the water is you're going to thank the spirits for assisting you. You're going to go outside your door, outside your house, right in front of your door, and you're going to pretty much um, rinse the water in, in your front door. Now, the reason for that is, again, you're luring that energy back to you, okay? All right, I hope that makes perfect sense. I try to do as simplistic as possible. I know you guys prefer the simple spells. I hope you guys enjoy, and if you do try this, definitely comment below and let me know your results. Uh, if you guys are doing this to get promotions, to get new opportunities, a new job, etc., you're going to be amazed, and I want you to come back and comment below your experience, okay? I send you guys all my love. I wish you guys the best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.